Welcome back to part two of the WWE draft review. Now we've just learned that Raw got three huge stars, SmackDown got a big star, actually, other way around. Raw got three big stars, SmackDown got one huge star and a diva. So who would get the next pick? Well, to help decide that, it was Christian versus Chris Jericho. Jericho is still annoyed about his defeat to Edge. So we got a good match here and it's crazy. There are two superstars out there who can make their finishers just out of nowhere appear. Randy Orton and Chris Jericho. And Jericho proved it again with, a, with a, another brilliant co-breaker. So SmackDown got the pick. And who did they get? They got a one of the... They got a proud wrestler, a guy who fights with all his pride, who does everything he can. He's loved by the fans, and his name is Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston is now on SmackDown, which is really good. I see him challenging Drew McIntyre in the near future for the Intercontinental Championship. I mean, that's going to be big. That is going to be a big match. So yeah, and um, so next match, um, Raw didn't waste time in using their new one of their new games. So, so John Morrison, now representing Raw, at the beginning of the night he would have been representing SmackDown, but now for Raw versus the World Heavyweight Champion Jack Swagger. Now. I heard this was going. This was a rubber match between the two. I've heard that the previous one, the second one, where Morrison won, was a lot more interesting. I don't have time to watch SmackDown, unfortunately, sometimes, so I do tend to skip it a lot. But I heard that this, that this didn't live up to the second one. I can't tell for sure. I liked the match, and it was a Jack Swagger win. So, it meant SmackDown got yet another pick. So, who did SmackDown get this time? Well, what can I say about this guy? His peeps love him. He's Captain Charisma. He is Christian. Christian is now a SmackDown star. Um, what can I say about that? Well, it's only been a couple of months he's been on Raw, to be honest. ECW closed down. Um, all the ECW superstars became free agents. He joined Raw. I thought that was a good move for him, even though he wasn't utilised fully. Um... But yeah, going to SmackDown, that would be kind of pretty, that would be pretty interesting to see. Um, I think he will be going after the World Heavyweight Championship, like the Big Show. I can't see him being stuck in the middle section. I can't see him challenging for the Intercontinental. I mean, with Edge now gone to Raw, Morrison and R-Truth also gone. Um, you're missing out some potential world heavyweight challenges. So Christian would could fill in that space. Finally, you have the final draft pick. And this was, again, another classic Raw vs. SmackDown match. Um, Hornswoggle vs. Dolph Ziggler. No, you didn't hear me wrong. I said Hornswoggle. Yeah, um, I'd rather save, I would have done Hornswoggle second, more of an impact, but I've been doing it Raw versus Smackdown all the time, so I thought I'd just continue with this one as well. But yeah, Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle was to represent Raw last. Now, automatically, two reasons you knew Hornswoggle was going to win. One, he's a little guy. Everyone loves the guy. They love him. And two, so far, it's been four to SmackDown, three to Raw. 
they're going to keep it even because with no ECW this time, they can, they're not going to try and give one brand more than the other. So it was going to be fair, so it was going to be a raw victory. And true to its word, it was Hornswoggle <laughs> embarrassing Ziggler a bit. Not as bad as Cena embarrassed Batista like on um, Extreme Rules. But yeah, so um, after Ziggler being a sore loser, beat up poor, uh, poor, poor Swoggle to sleep with a sleeper hold, Raw got its final draft pick. Now, to say this superstar is big, is an understatement. Um, it's more accurate to say he's wall breaking big. Walls are being broken on Raw. Raw is Jericho. Chris Jericho is now on Raw. Smackdown have lost another big superstar, another main eventer. This is massive, massive losses for Smackdown. Overall, on the night, War owned the night. Sure, it was even on the night. Four for SmackDown, four for War. But if you look at who got transferred, these are two main inventors going from SmackDown to War. You got Diva going to SmackDown, no big loss. You got Big Show going to War and SmackDown, that's a loss, but he's there to fill in spaces left. Then you got Christian and Kofi Kingston, sure, but still, when you've got Edge and Jericho going to war on the same show with the likes of Cena, Triple H, Sheamus, Randy Orton, whoa, it's just bigger. The challenging list for John Cena's WWE title has just grown. So I'm going to cut it here, and in the next part, we're going to look at the supplementary draft. We're going to see what happened behind the scenes, who got transferred to where, and what's going to happen, what I think is going to happen. So we shall see in a bit.